Hi everyone, welcome to Mostly Math. So we know from a previous video, the golden ratio is the solution to this quadratic equation, which upon using the quadratic formula tells us that phi is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, approximately 1.618. We're going to derive a few important formulae about the golden ratio. We'll be showing today golden ratio equal to the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus going on forever and it's also equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus dot 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 also going on forever. Notice these expressions are different but similar. Different in the sense that this one has square roots, this one has addition and division but they both have 1 so it's kind of interesting that you can make different expressions with ones be the same number. Okay, how are we going to do this? Well, start off with the standard trick. Just define x to be the thing that you want to know more about. Okay, done. What is the next step? Well, now we're going to use the nesting property of this, that x may be out here, but it's also in here as well. This is the same nesting property that we used on the previous video about the golden ratio as well. This is actually equal to the square root of 1 plus x. We can then square both sides of this to obtain x squared equals 1 plus x, which obviously tells us x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0, or tells us x is the golden ratio of 5. Pretty cool. Okay, now how can we do the same thing for the other equation? Oh, it shouldn't be that hard. Just see if we can use the nesting property again. Alright, let's let y be this thing, since we don't know beforehand that it's going to be the same thing, of course. I'm not going to call it x again. Okay, how can we use the nesting property here? Well. This is the same thing as what we want. So it's equal to 1 plus 1 over y. And now we're going to multiply both sides by y to obtain y squared equals 1 plus y. Again, y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is the golden ratio of 2. Pretty cool. We did use the same property, so I guess we could kind of see why they're the same, but do we really know why they're the same? I want to know why these expressions should be the same, how we can see that they're the same without doing this calculation. Well, let's just go back to our defining property of the golden ratio here. Zero is five squared minus five minus one. Okay, let's go ahead and write it like this. 5 squared equals 1 plus 5. Yeah. And now we're going to do some algebraic manipulations on this to see what we can find out what's happening under the hood, so to speak. Let's see what's really going on here. Okay, so the first manipulation, we're going to, well, let's label this one 1 because it's different. Okay, for this one, we're going to just take the square root of both sides. Uh, this tells us that phi is equal to, upon taking the square root, the square root of 1 plus phi. But now, since we have phi here, we have phi here, we can go ahead and put it in again. Okay, um, square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus phi. We can obviously continue this indefinitely to become the infinite nested expression that we saw in the first place. Excellent. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do next. Okay, let's take second manipulation. We will be dividing by phi here, divide both sides by phi, to obtain phi is equal to one plus one over phi. We can repeat this a second time. One plus one over one plus one over phi, yep. We can also continue this indefinitely as well to be 1 plus uh, 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 
one over et cetera, all the way to infinity. So now we know why these expressions should be the same. Pretty cool. Incidentally, if you were a mathematician, this is how you would derive the equations, not the first way. You would write this as a recursive sequence, starting with a particular value, would be one in this case, and the second iteration would be, you know, one plus square root of one plus phi here. This would be the second iteration, and you would let n go to infinity to construct this um, entity here, but first you have to actually prove that it converges to something. We're not going to do any of that because we don't really care. We just want to know how to derive formulae. We've done that. I think it's pretty cool. Important relation here. If you ever stuck about a problem involving the golden ratio, just write down that one right there. Hopefully the answer will pop, pop right out for you. And guess what? If you enjoy this, want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be seeing you next time.